Hello, I'm Hal Chambers, director of Helver's Night. Hello, I'm Joe Marsh. I'm playing Helva in Helver's Night. Hello, I am Caitlin Evans, and I am playing Carla. Hi, I'm Benjamin Hudson. I'm the composer of Helver's Night. I'm Zoe, and I'm the designer. What we uh, are trying to do with this production is make it a very visceral experience in which we place the audience at the heart uh, of the story by not only bringing them into uh, a space uh, from the outside to so their walk through uh, down sort of between the tenement buildings, walking down a dark alleyway, they can hear the sounds of the, the, the troops coming and the bombs and the, and, the, and the gunshots and the dogs barking and the trucks. They will then enter the space and they will sit on the stage with the actors, they'll sit on the set uh, and really be in the midst of it. It's going to go on a journey before they get into our stage, or well, that's the idea, so they, they've experienced it beforehand. And then when they're in the space, it's quite an intimate space, it makes them feel like they're in the house itself, so the, the audience are all around. Uh, Helvet is a very uh, interesting role to take on because he is a very troubled uh, man. He's not really capable of looking after himself, so he lives with Carla, this woman who's adopted him, and he's quite childlike in his behaviour. Um, we've sort of decided he's possibly got some autistic traits. He's very obsessed with his toy soldiers and they're very, very important to him. It's a sudden historical change. So the times that they were in radically change within probably hours. And what is going outside is chaos, is turmoil, is massive civil unrest, and above all for them is the most extraordinary uncertainty. job to create a realistic soundscape of uh, fascist uprising that's getting ever closer to the main characters um, and also more dangerous as it sort of approaches. Look out of the window! The whole district, I'm telling you, the, the 